at the Animal Disease Lab of the Nevada Department of Agriculture, we do rabies testing for the state of Nevada. Uh, most of the positive samples that we get to see in the lab are from bats. Um, bat rabies is the only endemic rabies that we have in the state that we know of. Of the bats that get submitted to the lab every year, we find between 6 and more than 20 positive every year. And that's about 8 to 15 percent of all the bats that make it to the lab. Very important to remember is that we have um, a mandatory rabies vaccination requirement for cats, dogs and uh, ferrets in this state. And actually in the most recent version of the compendium um, for rabies control, there is a recommendation that horses that travel to states like California, for instance, or Arizona, uh, where there is uh, quite a bit of terrestrial rabies present, that those horses should also be vaccinated for rabies at any given time. Rabies is a disease in humans that is invariably fatal. Um, we have not had any human patients in this state. However, in the United States, we have between one and four on average every year. Um, quite a few of those are actually contracted from rabid bats. So people that come in contact with bats need to be aware that there is a risk um, of contracting the disease and it's important to be careful um, when handling the bats. If there has been a known contact between pets and humans and a bat, um, that bat should try and be secured uh, for testing at the lab. If you find a bat in your house, the first thing you might want to do is call your local health department or animal control agency to see if an expert is available to assist you in this. If this is not possible, then it's very important to make sure that you wear um, the appropriate personal protective equipment. Always wear leather gloves, um, have either a cardboard box or a coffee can or similar receptacle available and use a piece of cardboard approach the bat cautiously once it settles down in a room and then basically just put the box or the can over the bat slide the cardboard box or the cardboard under the bat and secure the bat in the box um, then just punch a couple of holes into um, the cardboard to make sure that the, the bat can breathe and then contact the local health department or animal control agency as soon as possible so that the bat can go to the lab uh, for testing. People that have been in contact with bats or pets that have been in contact with bats where the bat is not available for testing do need to probably have a risk assessment done and um, probably require post-exposure prophylaxis, but that is something that needs to be decided on a case-by-case -case basis and uh, people that have that happen to themselves or to their pets need to either call the veterinarian or need to call their health department to have, make sure that um, this is discussed with an expert. For extensive science-based information on bats, how to exclude them from the, your house, what the risks are to humans and pets, um, and how to protect your family and your uh, pets from um, being in contact with rabies, you can go to our website and we've added several links um, to the Center of Disease Control in Atlanta, uh, to Bat Conservation International, as well as to the Global Alliance for Rabies Control.